Unemployment, the Silent Epidemic, by Pavlina Cherneva. Introduction. The conventional view of unemployment is that it is either a market failure or a market feature. The former stems from market imperfections such as wage rigidities, search frictions, or matching problems. The latter is a benchmark macroeconomic condition, such as the NIRU, that is thought to stem naturally from market forces. Globalization, automation, and the loss of manufacturing jobs are often added as reasons for the inevitability of the problem. The general consensus is that some, possibly increasing, levels of joblessness will always be with us. This paper considers unemployment as an artifact of modern market processes and policy design, but one that is by no means unavoidable. Because conventional theory treats it as such, policy responses do not aim to eradicate it. As a consequence, unemployment has become persistent, pervasive, and pernicious, and has inflicted large direct and indirect costs on the economy, society, and individuals. Analyzing these latter problems is the task of this paper. The case made herein is that unemployment behaves like a disease and should be treated as one. The theoretical perspective that underpins the foregoing analysis is based on an understanding of unemployment as a monetary phenomenon, as in the work of Keynes, and as a creature of the state, and in the modern money and chartalist traditions. See, for example, Mosler, 97-98, Mitchell, 98, Ray, 1998, and Cherneva, 2003. These two features of unemployment pertain to its origins and nature, and have been discussed in detail elsewhere, and are thus beyond the scope of this paper. Instead, here we will look at a particular aspect of the behavior of unemployment that best describes it as an infectious disease virus, or even an epidemic. We focus on the transmission mechanism of unemployment, its macroeconomic behavior, and socioeconomic impact. The following analysis suggests a fundamental shift in the policy response to tackling joblessness toward an approach that is based on preparedness and prevention. The final section illustrates why a job guarantee proposal has key preventative features and is therefore uniquely suited to tackling the social and economic costs of unemployment.